fish Thai curry. So what we've got here is uh, right at the back, which is slightly just out of shot, is a 400 ml of coconut milk. Then we've got some chopped white fish. This is fillet fish. It can be anything. It can be cod or hamor, pollock, anything like that. Next to that, we've got the uh, aubergine. These are the Thai aubergines. They're very small and tiny. If you can't find these, then you, you can just use regular aubergines, just thinly sliced and use those. Then we've got straight ahead salt and pepper, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, a little bit of chopped red chili. Then we've got some lime leaves, then some fresh coriander, a stick of fresh lemongrass. Now I've not chopped that, I've just give that a slice down the centre because it can get very messy afterwards and it's, it's very tough. And then next to that we've got some green uh, Thai curry paste. You don't have to use this because the other ingredients is basically that. So you can use a touch of that, none of that or only that. Okay, let's cook this. Okay, so the first stage of this uh, fish curry, this Thai curry, is um, we're going to fry the fish completely separately. We just want it nice and crispy and then we'll start the actual curry and the masala, the sauce. So we'll do this for a few minutes, a couple of minutes on each side should be enough. I've got a pan here with like a centimetre and a half of oil and okay let's go, let's see how we get on with that. Okay, so we're just going to give these a little flip over now, do them on the, the other side the same. And uh, then we're going to drain them off onto some kitchen towel, then we'll start the actual curry. Okay, so we're happy with that, they're nice and crispy. I mean, not, you can still, there's still got a little bit of whiteness about them. But what the frying stand has sealed them, they will stay in bits now. If you put them in the curry raw, they will just, it will become a soup, basically. It won't, they, you, you, you won't know there's any fish in it. So we're gonna just drain them off and then we'll start the sauce. Okay, here we are in, in a separate saucepan. I've got some oil in there. I'm actually using the same oil that I fried the fish in, which is fine, it'll give it a little bit of flavor. Um, first of all, I need to apologize because I forgot to mention that you need onions for this. So uh, there you go, they can go straight in. Now in that oil, which is lovely. This will be followed by the garlic and the ginger. And the salt and the pepper. The fresh chili. The lime leaves. And the lemongrass. So we're just going to give that a little mix up there, get those flavours happening and bonding together. Just two minutes, we'll be back. There's enough ingredients in there now for a Thai curry. You've got the lime leaves, you've got the lemongrass, the garlic, the ginger, the chilli. It's all coming out now and it's got the perfect Thai curry smell. We're now going to add a little bit of the Thai paste. You don't have to do this. If you, if you don't want to, it will just give it another little boost. So we'll just pop that in. Again, this is green Thai paste. You can use red or the, there's several other types of, of, of different Thai paste on the market. And to be honest, they're really good. And if you can't get hold of these ingredients, then it makes loads and loads of sense. So there we go. We're mixing that just a little bit. Now we're going to add the aubergines. As I said before, these are the Thai aubergines. They're tiny, tiny, small little things different colours, you've got the red, the white and the green that actually look like peas in fact. So let's just cook those down a little bit for two or three minutes. We'll pop a lid on that and come back just in a couple of minutes. Okay, so there's a few minutes now, done. The aubergines as you can see are cooking nicely. We're simply now just going to add the coconut milk. We're going to give that a little stir. 
Then we're going to add the lid and lower the heat and we'll give that six minutes let's say. Okay let's take a look now. There you go, our coconut has reduced a little now. Simply now we're going to add the fried fish that we, we fried earlier on. In that goes. Again, the reason that we fry it is so that it stays together. You'll see what I mean when it's finished. And then we're going to add a little bit of the fresh coriander. And we're going to gently stir this now. We're going to gently just stir that. And we're going to turn the heat off. Leave that for two minutes. And she's ready. Thai fish curry. Coconut, lime leaves, lemongrass, aubergines, the fried fish. Delicious. I mean, very spicy. You can tone it down a little if you want, but I like it just like that. See you again.